guys welcome back to the channel it's d if you're new welcome to the channel today's video is going to be a quick little coloring book and supply haul video not too many supplies uh just some acrylic paint pens to show and um, some coloring books um, i do have three coloring books in transit amazon lost one of my packages um which contained two of the creative haven Teresa Goodridge Christmas coloring books. Um, I believe one was a newer one and maybe one was not so new, um, but I haven't had any of her Christmas books. So I had ordered them um, and they're missing. Uh, it says it's arriving now today. I don't have faith. <laughs> I think they're going to refund it. And I also had ordered another coloring book, which now is in limbo. So either they're delivering everything together or I don't know. I'm going to get a refund and more late deliveries. Not sure. Should they arrive, I'll just pop them into my um, completed pages video, which I plan to record in a couple of days. So with that being said, um, let's just jump in. I'll show you guys some of the coloring books that I purchased. I actually did not purchase as many as I had anticipated. Um, I'm going to raise you guys just a little bit. Sorry for the shake. Um, I thought... Um, in October, I was on a no buy, so I was looking at all these coloring books and for um, that I wanted to purchase in November, but I actually didn't do too bad. I just purchased a couple of things and put some things on some Christmas lists to my family. So anyway, one of the uh, books I purchased this month was um, Creative Haven's Floral Tattoo Designs. This one is by Eric Suda and uh, yeah, right there. Eric Suda. I'm really into I'm really into um these tattoo design coloring books because I'm really I've been really liking my alcohol markers. Um lately I've just been wanting a more relaxing type of coloring. I know all coloring is supposed to be relaxing, but I think we all know it's not sometimes with the color palettes and crayons or pencils. But alcohol markers are a lot of fun for me and I just I've been practicing with them in these books with these um tattoo designs. They're just a lot of fun for me. So I've been buying a lot of them. So this one is, again, um, the Creative Haven Floral Tattoo Design book. And this is like the back page, so it's completed. This was not done by me. And then this book is basically, they're one-sided, which is great. That's why I love them for my alcohol markers. Um, they're perforated pages. So you can rip them out like a lot of these books, um, Creative Haven ones are. And I just like that the designs are so big. Um, it's a lot of space. I do semi prefer the tattoo books with a little bit of grayscale. Um, but I do like these books um, for practicing. This particular one, I, I went in blind. Um, I didn't really research it too much or see what the images were. This one, I'm going to say, is not my favorite favorite tattoo design book. Um, I don't particularly love all of these images. I find them a little hard to make out. Um, but there are one or two in here, which like, I like this one. This one I'm not so crazy about, but I can do something with that. So this one is a little, this one I kind of like. Um, so yeah, not my favorite tattoo book but again um, I do like to practice with my alcohol markers with this so and I can probably maybe do some background work with some of my um either gelatos or uh, Karen Dash Neo colors so not super unhappy with this purchase not 1000% loving it um but um, it will do. So this is, again is the Creative Haven Floral Designs Tattoo Book by Eric Suda. Suda. The next book I purchased um, 
is A Court of Thorns and Roses um, coloring book. Now, I've read these books by Sarah J. Moss, and I absolutely love The Court of Thorns and Roses series. It's like one of my favorite series that I've read since Karen Marie Moaning's Fever series. Um, so when I saw the coloring book, I just had to have it. Um, I had ordered this in the past and this was another one that Amazon just decided to not deliver and I was refunded. And then I just decided to order it again, um, just to test it out to see if it would come and it came and I'm so happy. And I really, I enjoy all the images in this book. And I read the series um, a while ago. I still have to finish one of the books. I haven't read it in since February. Um, I was really into them and I was reading them and I was in love with the story. Um, but then a lot happened um, personally and I stopped reading because it just um, there was a lot going on. And I haven't picked back up the, my Kindle to read again or my, you know, to finish it. Um, I'm practically finished. So none of this is like a spoiler to me, uh, but it, it is one of my favorite book series. So, um, I do like fantasy and all that kind of stuff. So that's my kind of reading. Uh, but yeah, so I picked up this coloring book and I'm super happy and I can't remember exactly what all the characters were wearing and look like, but when I do color this, I'm going to try and keep it maybe to the characters in the book or maybe not. Um, but I'm so happy that I have this book and I'm glad that it came without any issues. I highly recommend this series if you're into fairy and fantasy and, um, those kind of books. It is a very good series. So yeah, so this is A Court of Thorns and Roses coloring book. Um, the author is Sarah J. Moss, and I'm not sure who, um, it's by Bloomsbury uh, Publishing maybe, or I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know who the art, who actually drew the images, but maybe she did. I, I, I don't really know, but... I think there's a different, it looks like illustration credits and there's a bunch of different people. So maybe that's why, but all the books are on the back page. Should you be interested? It is very good. It was a very good series, but I'm happy to have the coloring book. So again, this is a thorn of thorns and a court of thorns and roses um, by Sarah J. Moss. Usually I don't collect um, the coloring books from book series. Like I don't have any of the Game of Thrones one and I don't plan on getting them, but very happy with that. Okay, the next purchase um, is by Lee Holland. And this one is Easy Coloring Christmas, Cute Little Dragons. And it's 24 cute dragon designs. And this book, um, if you're familiar with the Lee Holland, um, they're very simple images. Their page is like numbers on that side. And then you have an image on this side. So you can use alcohol markers if you wish um the paper is not fabulous so um I'm sure you're going to have bleed through I don't think water is going to hold up too well but I guess it all depends on how heavy your hand is with water um but I'll give it a go I'll give it a try we've got some horizontal pages uh we have some regular size you know vertical pages and this is, try to up a little more. I have, um, this is my first Lee Holland book. But I have looked up a bunch of other ones and seen a bunch of colorist posts, um, some videos with their finished pages or their um, coloring book haul. And this book seems to be, you know, typical Lee Holland style. Just with cute Christmas dragons, so. Again, this was the Easy Coloring Christmas Cute Little Dragons um, by Lee Holland. So my next purchase was um, Chris Reinach's Morning Scribbles. So I jumped on the bandwagon with this. I saw um, T's Adult World of Coloring and Lavello's Coloring post um, these books. And the images were just right up my alley, right 
kind of my style. So I purchased, uh, I purchased the morning scribble and I purchased the Halloween card. So the morning scribble, I'm just going to do a quick one. I mean, this one has been out all over, but if you haven't seen it, it's adorable little images. Um, we have some shaded little ones, some regular thick line art ones. I mean, come on, look how cute that frog is. Uh, look at him. This looks like me after I ate my breakfast this morning. So cute. Well, minus the cute, but that guy was cute. <laughs> yeah, this is a really cute book. And um, again, single-sided, so you can test out some other mediums aside from pencils if you choose. You can do cute backgrounds since it's really no backgrounds. Really cute, cute book. Super adorable. So this one I purchased on Amazon. So it's Amazon paper, it seems. And the other book I'm going to show you by him, the Halloween one, I actually purchased from um, his website. And I believe, I don't know, um, I have to, we'll see now when I look at it, the paper. But yeah, this got cute. So adorable. I'm really happy with this book. Um, I can't wait to color in it. So this is Chris Reignac's um, Morning Scribbles. 50 pages of monster doodles drawn by a big weirder, weirdo for you to color. So right there. A sold because that was hysterical. So very cute. And then the Halloween one. Oh yes, the Halloween paper, the one in this book, the paper is much thicker. This is the Halloween coloring book. Um, this is my packing slip. Um, so bindlewood.com. Here is the spelling, bindlewood.com, um, if you wish to check out the website. And um, this is Halloween images, so the back cover is glossy. It's a glossy cover, back page. Thicker paper, much thicker paper. And these are all Halloween images. And I wish I had this book in October. I probably would have colored every page. Uh, but like I said, I am coloring one Halloween page a month. So I'm not too worried about getting this guy in. Oh my goodness, I love that. It's a little Franken snail or turtle, Franken turtle. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very cute book. Very cute. I'm going to just do a quick flip like that. I know I went kind of fast there, but I don't want to, for those of you who have seen it, I don't want to take up too much time. And if you would like a proper flip of this, I can just do a regular flip through video. Look how cute. And it says here, I'm not sure how a color will look on the, on this paper. Try it out here first. So yeah, so this is the Morning Scribbles, Chris Reignac's Halloween coloring book. And this one I got off of the website and I will put the link in the descriptions for those who maybe missed the little packing slip or couldn't see it too well because it was kind of faded. Um, the next book I purchased is a Morgana Sky and this is cute winter coloring book. And I had purchased one of her Halloween coloring books, which I actually enjoyed coloring in. So when I saw this, I decided um, to get it and have a go. You have a color chart page on the back. And then some simply drawn cute images. Single sided. And just um, a little bat wrapped in a scarf and a Christmas snowy tree. Very, very cute. Very cute images, simple, no grayscale, no shading, just regular line art for you to just color however you choose. 
and then thumbnails of all the pictures which I like so if you want to do a smaller coloring and you don't want to tackle a big page you can um, and there's also I believe um, you can find a digital version of this title and many more digital releases on digitalbookcafe.com. So I've never checked that out, so I don't know. This I bought off of Amazon US. And again, this is by Morgana Sky, and this is the cute winter coloring book. The next purchase was Adventure and Mischief Awaits. This is Beyond the Garden by the artwork of Chet Minton. Now I came across um, Chet Minton's Etsy shop and I had ordered a PDF and I colored it. Um, it will be in my finished pages video and I just love his style. It kind of reminds me of a Herb Leonard kind of style with the, the theme um, and I just love that. I love all that kind of stuff. So I purchased the Gnomes uh, book Of course, the back page has a test page, and then it's basically images such as this. And I absolutely love these kind of images. It's kind of reminds me of like the Hobbit kind of. Sorry, I know that was bad. Um, the Hobbit kind of fairyland, fairy tale land. Um, but this was really cute. I love this one. I really like his style of drawing, um, his artwork. I have a bunch of his uh, bunch of his images in my Etsy cart for PDFs. Um, he has another book, I believe, on Amazon where um, I ordered this on Amazon, which I might have to order. Actually, that's one of the books I have coming. Um, if that one's Into the Forest, but I don't know if they're going to deliver it. Um, we'll see. I blame the package they lost for any delay. But anyhow, um, this is um, the Gnomes Beyond the Garden coloring book um, by the artwork of Chet Minton. Um, super adorable. Love this kind of work, this artwork. So I'm so happy to have this book and I'm so happy I just stumbled across him on Etsy. Etsy just suggested um, his shop to me, I guess based off other shops, and I was super happy. So I will put his link um, Etsy store in the description. Um, the next book I purchased was, of course, it was going to be a Jade Summer because um, I'm on a Jade Summer appreciated coloring book kick. Um, again, for my alcohol markers, I love how they perform. So I decided to get the Christmas one since it is the season when in Rome. Uh, they do give doubles. Um, first half of the book is one uh, set. Second half of the book is the other. Um, it is a rather darker grayscale. As you can see, um, I thought originally I was not going to like this because I have the Kawaii Hara Grayscale book by Jade Summer and it was dark like this. Um, some images were darker and I, it put me off. But then once I started coloring in it, I was pleasantly surprised how the alcohol markers performed and how much fun I had. And I think I colored like four pages in that book in October. Um, so... This is along the same lines. It's not like a lighter grayscale. I mean, it's not super dark. Some images are, but that's okay. I don't mind. And I'm looking forward to coloring in this book. Just a lot of like people with Christmas thing themed. And um, that was the second image. And then here you go. It's the first image. So you do get two copies of each image. And I always tend to try and color like either wherever I open the book to, you know, sometimes I accidentally start in the back and I don't realize it. Um, but then I just try and stick with that set. Um, because like, again, I love using my alcohol markers and I feel like I can do this page in one color and then do it again in a totally different color scheme. So this was the Chibi Christmas Appreciated Coloring Book by Jade Summer. And again, all these books, um, with the exception of the um, Halloween one, were purchased on Amazon US. I will link anything not purchased on Amazon um, in the description. I still can't link uh, 
I don't think, but I will just put where, you know, the, the site for you guys to copy and paste into your browsers. Uh, the next one is um, 50 Winter and Christmas Fairy Houses by Camelia Angel Culver. And I believe this is a newer, newer one. And it kind of is along the themes of the um, Halloween fairy houses, which I thought was an adorable book. So I grabbed this one. And this is typical of her style. Nothing new as far as that goes, except their adorable um, Christmas fairy house images. I have like an elf shoe here. Snow globe, little house. So yeah, for those um, fans of Camellia Angelkova, if you do not have this book, it is very cute and sweet. And if you did like the Halloween um, fairy house book that she put out, this is along um, the same lines and definitely one I am glad to have in my collection. You know, I never was a big Christmas coloring uh, thing. I mean, I only really started coloring in 2021, I want to say. Um, so I really have only had like one Christmas of coloring and I haven't really been, Halloween colorings are more my thing, um, but for some reason uh, I'm surprised myself this year and I seem to want to be in, I'm in this coloring, Christmas coloring spirit. <laughs> so all of these books are calling out to me and that's why I've purchased so many Christmas coloring books. Um, I thought I was going to purchase all the Halloween ones that I didn't get in October. Uh, so I'm pleasantly surprised so again this is 50 winter and christmas fairy houses by camellia angelkova um i came across this uh nice little town christmas three i think this is a newer one it's um by tatiana bulgama stolova and again like i said i'm in the christmas coloring mood so I had to grab this one. I don't have her other Christmas ones, actually. Um, I figured this one, I think, was newer. And it came up in my my um, Amazon feed thing, the little suggestion thing for you. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let me, let me just get her new one, her newer one. And I could always get the older one. I mean, another reason I didn't purchase the older one was because I have that huge book um, I purchased like a month or so ago. Um, it's got, it's a really thick, book of hers it's got like a bunch of compilations of all her books I don't know I can't recall if any Christmas images are in there so oh I'm sorry I shook you guys um I didn't want to purchase um duplicates uh so I decided to just go with their newer book for now so yeah if you guys didn't know this was out go on Amazon and check it out very cute cute images. I absolutely love this one. So when I do color in this book, I'm probably going to hit up the snow globe owl page first. <laughs> and again, this is, um, the nice town, nice little town Christmas three by Tatiana Bogema Stolova. And I believe it is a newer one. And then my last, um, coloring book is this cute Christmas cuties, um, pocket size coloring book by Joshua Dunbar. And I'm going to hold it up a little bit. So these are very simple images. And I, uh, very simple images, no background. Kind of reminds me of um, the Glenn Dent tiny little horror Halloween coloring book. As far as the images go, it's just like an image with no background. Sometimes with these images, I like them better. Um, sometimes I'll border them off. Um, I'll add some elements. Very simple. I mean, no bells, no whistles, but the images are super cute. And for a quick little coloring for single-sided, you could use markers or crayons or, you know, water base. I mean, it's not thick paper, but we all know that's just hard to the cause I mean you know that's how these books are printed but look how cute I mean so cute so so cute and I'm going to try and finish this book because it's tiny and the images are sweet and 
probably added to my goal. And I had said I was going to give myself 15 books that I wanted to complete. And I think um, I did a video with like nine. And since then, I think I've added way over 15. But we'll see. I'm going to redo that video um, at some point and make it more accurate. <laughs> But anyway, this was the Christmas Cuties. It's a pocket size coloring book by Joshua Dunbar. Oh, adorable. And uh, yeah, so those were my coloring books. And then I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, so I've been using a lot of alcohol markers and I ended up purchasing um, some acrylic paint pens. Um, back in October when I was doing my Halloween colorings, um, I found that the acrylic paint pens really complement the alcohol markers as far as highlights and just adding a little bit element of like a pop and in October that's all I did and I was like oh I need more paint pens and honestly guys I have Posca and we all know Posca pens are great acrylic paint, pen, paint pens but they're a little pricey so um I ended up purchasing online uh Tule Art um truly heart truly art acrylic paint pens and i had originally purchased um the earth set and this i purchased back in the beginning of october um this one i kind of went hard on so it leaked a little um uh, they're little nibs fine nibs um and this was the earth tone set um they are numbered however every set is numbered the same numbers they're like sets of 24 and they're all numbered 1 to 24 so the number in the earth set may be duplicate to a number in one of the other sets so if you do purchase them and you are swatching them i would suggest swatching them by the type of um packet that you buy so this is the earth and these are earth tone you know a couple i mean i already opened these again i've been using these since october so like just to give you an idea, some of the colors in the earth set, you know, you have some oranges, some greens, you have some skin flush tones, but you know, obviously they're for earth tones, but they can be used for skin tones. And I pop them into all my coloring books um, where I use marker, alcohol marker, and I love it. So I purchased the pastel set. Um, I did swatch these out. I don't have my swatch sheet. Um, I get my swatch sheets off various Etsy shops. But I mean, as you can see, the numbers, um, they're all renumbered again, 1 to 24. Um, I did like the pastel set. Oh my goodness, I didn't close that one. They give you similar colors, um, but not really. And again, they go very well with alcohol markers for adding a little element. Um, if you're use, using um, a wax-based colored pencil, they work well too. But I find if you, or for me, so don't take this. This could be due to my hand, how I color. They don't look as nice on the pencils as they do on the marker. Again don't make that stop you from trying this if you're a colored pencil colorist i may be heavy-handed with my wax pencils i may go hard and it may be harder for certain things to show up and i haven't tried them out very much on my um pencil colorings only one or two i've been really using them for my alcohol and again i they do come with a thicker nib i will show you that in a second this is the pastel set. Um, it's 0.07, this one, and this is extra fine. And here, pastels here. It shows you the window of the ink. Shake it up. So I purchased the pastel set. And then I purchased um, the neon set. So the neon set says 24. I'm telling you right now, guys, it's duplicate pens. They're giving you an extra fine tip and they're giving you a medium tip. It is not 24 neon pencils. It is 12 neon pencils. I mean, pens, listen to me, Um, acrylic paint pens. They give you three of each nib. 
So you get six nibs, fine tip and medium tip. And then these are the colors. And so this is the neon um, acrylic paint pen. I did not swatch the thick ones. I only swatched the little ones. Um, but that's the neat medium nib on the thicker one. Um, I prefer when, like I said, um, when I do my highlights and my whatever I'm using them for, I prefer the tiny nib um, on on it. Let me get like a neon one. Get this orange one out. Oop. Goodness gracious. Okay. So you see. I think I have a blank a piece of paper here and there the neon colors are super cool and I really um, like the set it enhanced a lot of little shadows and highlights and no not shadows highlights so I was very happy um, so again, the, these are the Thule Art. This is the name, Thule Art. If you look at the neon, again, keep in mind, it is 12. Uh, you're only getting 12 colors, but you're getting two sets of pens. You're getting a fine nib and a medium nib. And they're not 24 neon. And the pastel is 24. And then I have the Earth set, which I enjoyed. Um, yeah. And then I had purchased the Ohuhu acrylic paint pens um, because I liked the Ohuhu. Um, I use um, Ohuhu alcohol markers and I find them to be wonderful. So I figured out, let me give the Ohuhu paint acrylic paint pens a whirl. I did not swatch them. Uh, you know, they come in the typical Ohuhu case, carrying case. And they're okay. You get a bunch of variety of colors. Just pulling some out to show you the tops, just so you could see like which colors you're getting. There's a silver and a gray. I believe this is the silver. Um, fine, a finer nib. You can see. Uh, have a window so you could see if it's mixed well if it's not these are good i've been using the um Thule art more so i i need to use these more to give you a better review on what i think of them um but you know and then i have my poscas which i love but you know a set of these and you're getting all these colors you know 24 pastel they're about the same price if you got a pack of Poscas, but I think like a po pack of Posca, depending on, um, you know, they're a little more expensive. Like like six may be the price of the 24. I mean, at least the ones I've come across. So, and I don't really need, I'm not an artist. I don't need the Posca pens that, that much. You know, I just, I need a paint pen that is affordable and one that performs for what I needed to perform. And the Ohuhu, they're good. I'll, I'll use them more and get back to you on that. But I'm really enjoying the Thule Art. Like I said, I've been using them since October. I actually bought them in September, um, but I didn't use them. And then I used them in October. So that, my lovelies, is my com uh, my October. Oh my goodness, again, I can't speak. Sorry, guys. My November coloring book haul. Just going to throw these all back in the frame. Um, my supply haul. And that's it. I hope uh, you guys like this video. Please like um, and subscribe so you guys get notified for new content. It also helps out my channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by and staying with me through this. And I hope um, you found a coloring book in this video that you might want to purchase for yourself. And uh, I guess that's it. But I will see you guys shortly for my completed page video. And hopefully those coloring books from Amazon come and I can get them out to you guys so you can see those as well. Stay well, guys, and I will talk to you shortly.